Hi, I'm Lally, and welcome back to another uneventful episode of Digging in the Dark. Today, we're going to harvest blue potatoes. And some of these are still a little bit alive, but for the most part, they've died back, which means they're ready to harvest. So we're going to try to replant some of these ones that are still alive. See if we can get some extra potatoes. And if we fill up this colander with potatoes, I will be quite happy. All right, let's do it. Whoo! That's a good one to start. Wow, these came out way better than I was expecting. The ones that we planted up at my friend's house were all like this size, like these size ones. But look at that, that's almost a potato worth peeling. Throw that to the compost. That is much better than I was anticipating for for these guys. Oh, I'm already really excited. an acorn, not an acorn, a, um, a pine cone. Not bad, two, four, six, eight potatoes from the first bucket and one of them's a peeling potato. tomatoes were sprouting out of this one. The seeds must have made it through the compost. Get some of that out before we start. Just sift like half the bucket and then the other half so that we can get some of these weeds out instead of just grinding them up. Another peeling potato. Ooh, it hit the bottom. Look how flat it grew. Oh, uh, that one... I think that one might have rotted a little bit. But it's big enough that we can probably eat most of it. Oh, I think that only had, was that two or three? I think just the two big ones in that. Oh, there's a little one.
that's another pine cone. The little tiny ones, when they're in here, they're not really worth saving to eat, but they'll grow eyes and grow into a new potato plant. This is a black locust tree, or it would have been. These grow really fast, and I'm pretty sure they're invasive to Massachusetts. There was run, no, one growing next to my grandmother's rose bush for years, and they have a very similar leaf structure, and I was cutting the roses down for a while and leaving the black locust. But no more of that. Now, if you're a repeat watcher, you might notice I'm not filming with my 360 camera. And that's because I need a new removable hard drive. Because those 360 videos are huge as far as how much data they take up. Oh, that, I believe, is the husk or the shell, or the skin, whatever you want to call it, of the potato I originally planted. Two little baby ones. Another black locust tree.
That'll have to wait. Woo, two peeling potatoes. I might have enough to make myself two servings of potato soup. Oh, ha, all this shaking of the tray to sift it. My watch decided I'm working out. Planted. Oh, we might have planted a few of them in this pot, or some of them might have rotted. That is definitely an option. Not bad. Got a peeling one. Looks like a bean. Oh, got a little one. That's a pretty good turnout so far. That colander is filling up pretty quick. Oh, another bean. Lots of good ones. Oh, that's not bad. Three good sized ones and one little one.
wondering why I'm doing that. It's just because the dirt kind of cakes onto itself if I let it build up on the on the sifter. did all sorts of planning with setting up the tripod and making sure all my stuff was already out here so I wouldn't be walking around off camera half the time, but I wasn't smart enough to turn off the sounds on my phone. Another really bright one. That's cool. Ooh. Yeah, see this one? Not quite as bright. It's got these dull browner spots on it. But then that one, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that one is much more vibrantly purple. Ooh, little baby potato. And there's the husk of the one that got planted. Or, like I said the other time I saw one, it might just be a potato that grew and rotted, but I think it's the husk of the one I planted. that's definitely like this one I'm pretty sure is still growing pretty lively this one is worth saving it's growing lively this one is kind of borderline but that one's very alive so I think we're gonna pull this one. Oh well I don't think I know I'm pulling it right now That one, that's a huge one, so is that. Oh, that one, that one rotted. I don't think that was the one I planted, because that, oh, you know what? 
Maybe through a weird miracle of science it filled. I crushed it pretty quick, but it was full of dirt. It was a little baby one. Definitely gonna turn off the uh, sounds on my phone. This one's pretty alive, so we're gonna try to get underneath it. Nope, I heard it rip. Oh no, still a bit of roots on it. Put it in these jars because they're full of rainwater for right now. Look at that, potato came up with the plant. or just a bit of root. We'll throw it all in. Anything that's not worth eating will end up in a um, probably a brown paper bag so it can start growing eyes. Those are some pretty good ones. Baby potato. No, nope, that's another. I keep wanting to say acorn, but they're pine cones.
Oh, you know what? Maybe to keep it from the roots from crack, and I'll just hold it in place while I try to shake out the dirt around it. That might work a little better. Oh, look! That's a tomato plant. I got a bunch of those right there, which are probably going in this dirt, so... I did have that moment of thinking, should I keep it, but I got a whole bucket of tomato plants right there. Only a half hour, good. The camera's capable of filming in 4K, but I would have only gotten 45 minutes of filming time. And I think, I don't know, I'm guessing closer to like 50 minutes, maybe a whole hour, to screen this dirt, get these potatoes, and then plant those carrots. Nope, those are tomatoes. They're not carrots. I'm just a little dumb. I don't know if this will make it because I did bend this, that bit there. Woo! That is the most bean potato that's come across. Carefully get that off. Try to keep some of these roots, and hopefully this will survive long enough to get transplanted into some new dirt. I can't use the dirt that they're growing in because potatoes are very prone to getting bugs when they're grown in the same field uh, two years in a row, so that's why I sift the dirt. And that's also why I'll be planting tomatoes in it after, because I'm pretty sure that potatoes and tomatoes are not so closely related that they will get the same bug. I wish I knew what kind of bug it was. I've just always heard of it as potato bugs. Um, but I don't know what, what actual kind of bug it is, unless it really is just called a potato bug. What was that? That sounded like a potato bouncing around. Where'd you go? There you are. Yep, I put a hole in it with my thumbnail because I was right, but I couldn't accept that. So that one will probably rot now. It sounds like there's another little one bouncing around too. Probably not worth getting anyways.
Now this one might very much stay alive because I didn't bend it at all. All right, last one. Well, let's just get all the dirt out of these. This one actually has two good vines still growing in it. Oh, maybe one good vine. That's looks pretty rough. We'll still try to Get it out gently. Got a good one, got a little one. Look, it was, look how bright that one is. Look, oh, there's something crawling on me. It's a couple of ants. Oh, there it is. I don't know if the camera 
picks up the sound of it, but you can hear when there's a potato bouncing around because it has almost a kind of hollow sound. And when the potatoes hit the side, they kind of, they like bounce off the edge and you can see them shooting across the, uh, the sifter. I thought I heard another one. Well, not too bad. I mean, yeah, let's get them to sink down. I'd say I filled up that colander. It's not overflowing, but I'd say that's filled up. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess let's wash them off, and then we'll plant some of these tomatoes in this dirt. wash them in the sink before I eat them, but I'm going to get the majority of this dirt off of them before I bring them inside. Just fill up the pot and shake it around because I don't really want to get this dirt soaking wet right now because then it will be hard to put the tomatoes in it. So I'm just going to fill the pot up, give it a shake, knock some of the dirt off and then probably do that again. Hmm, my water looks very bad. Should probably spray the hose up a little. Yeah, that can't be good. That's all like the inside of the hose from sitting in the sun. compost to keep stuff from sticking to the bottom. Here, let's clean out that a little bit too, because 
There's some caked on duck. That's kind of productive. Should be good for now. We'll rinse it for real inside. I just wanted to get the bulk of the dart off. Alright, we won't need that again. I still have about 45 minutes that I can film, so let's plant these tomatoes. Hmm. No, I was going to say I should wash the pots out, but they're staying outside. I don't think there's anything that's going to hurt anything from here. Yeah, these roots are way too wet. It rained the other day. Carefully. Get, to get these out of this water. They are. They're not going to dry out too much before I get them planted, but. Make it slightly easier if the water comes out of them a bit.
Hopefully these Roma tomatoes will have enough time to to grow. It's the um, what is today? It's the 16th of August. So hopefully they'll have enough time to make some tomatoes before it gets too cold for them. But I'm not sure. kind of surprised that the tomatoes are even alive because as you can see those roots are all very wet and pretty muddy I can't remember if I made a bit. No, I didn't make a video of planting these on YouTube. I did it on TikTok. Can't live stream from my phone on YouTube yet.
So in other non-plants in these tomatoes news, I might be making more videos more often because I'm trying very hard to quit smoking. But I've been smoking for like 22 years, and that's not good, and I'm very addicted to cigarettes. But, because I'm pretty sure YouTube's not cool with it, I don't really smoke while I'm recording, so... That helps. That helps quite a bit, actually. I've got to get a webcam so I can... Because I can live stream from my computer, just not from mobile yet. I was reading, I think, I think there's a number of subscribers you need or a number of watch hours before you can upload from mobile and I don't reach that threshold. So I'm going to have to get a webcam and a long cord because I'm not bringing my laptop outside to record garden stuff. And none of my GoPros, the one that's recording now, or the Fusion, are capable of live streaming. I think the Hero 8 and 9 are, and I think the GoPro Max, which is also a 360 camera, but I don't have either of those. I've got this, I think it's a Hero 5 and the 360 Fusion. Don't get me wrong, I love the Fusion. It is amazing. It records the whole world while I do mundane things. But you can't live stream with it. I don't think you can live stream with the Max either in 360. I think you can only um, turn the front facing camera on, but it is capable of live streaming, I think. Don't quote me on that, because I'm just going off what I think I read, but I don't have what I read in front of me. I gotta get a microphone too. I thought I could Bluetooth my um, my Galaxy Buds to the GoPro, but I don't think I can. Or if I can, I don't know how, because I wasn't able to do it before I started recording. Because who knows if you can hear a word I'm saying. I know the 360 is pretty good at picking up sound, but... This camera was always kind of just used for juggling up at Juggling Club. So I never really cared about if it was picking up sound. I just cared that it was getting everybody juggling in frame. Another reason I should quit smoking is because my dad very much succumbed to COPD uh, four, five, yeah, I, I don't know how long ago my dad passed away. I just know that he's not here for me to talk to and that's a bummer. It's a wicked bummer. Let's move away from sad thoughts though, but uh, I need to quit smoking because I am probably very susceptible to it. COPD. And since I've cut back on smoking, I've got a terrible cough. Because I think for years the cigarettes were suppressing all the stuff that was building up in my lungs. 
and now that I'm not smoking as much, it's all coming back up and it's terrible. It's terrible too as I talk about quitting smoking, the only thought in my head right now is as soon as this camera turns off, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. And what's even worse about that is I am right now, because the camera's going, holding back the coughing fit that is slowly building up in my lungs. Well, that's enough sad stuff. Let's talk about the happiness of how these tomatoes are not dead and they have been sitting in very deep water for about two or three days since it rained because I got a new job which is one of the reasons we haven't been having videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's going to come back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There should be new videos. I know, that's weird, I just smelled the dark. Because I could smell something kind of rotting, but I think it's one of the cups I just dumped out because there's too much water in those tomato plants. So I bet the, the roots that are really submerged in water are starting to rot. And that's also probably why they're getting these roots above the dart line. off me ants. No, oh, now I get mud on my leg. There's a privet bush, or at least it will be if it doesn't die. It also was very submerged in water with these tomatoes. That's a Rosa Sharon bush. I got one tomato left. Do I have an extra pot? Oh, I have a cloth pot off camera. These cloth pots, oh, that's filthy. These cloth pots are pretty good. But on very hot days, they do dry out a little more than, than I'd like. I think they're designed for hydroponic systems so that you can have a continuous drip of water, but also have a really good airflow to the roots. I've had a hydroponic system set up before, well aquaponics, I've used fish instead of uh, chemicals for fertilizer, fish waste instead of chemicals for fertilizer, but it's hard to get stuff to flower in that or go to fruit because it's mostly a nitrogen producing system and it doesn't make enough phosphorus or potassium to really let something flower in fruit. But lettuces are supposed to go, are supposed to work amazing in it. Ooh, yeah. 
these roots are definitely rotting a bit. I can. It's weird. It doesn't smell entirely like decomposition. It smells like tomatoes and farts. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, well, thanks for watching. About an hour long. Yeah, thanks for watching. That's all I've really got to do today. i got to move these out front to where the potatoes had been sitting in the sun, but now these tomatoes are going to sit in the sun. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new episodes of Uneventful Digging in the Dark.